Hey YouTube, I'm Leo from AdSenseNinja.com and I want to make this quick demonstration video of my AdSense optimized theme for WordPress. Um, so in this video, I'll show you two things. Number one is automatic switching between desktop and mobile optimized ads. Meaning if you come to this website from a mobile device, you'll see a mobile ad size versus when you come from a desktop, you'll see a desktop size ad such as this large letterboard. Um, another thing I'll show you is A-B testing. So what is A-B testing? Basically, you have two variations of your ad and uh, you split test them. So 50% of people see one ad and another 50% of people see another ad. And then based on results and results being how much money you make, you select which one performs better. You know, after a couple of weeks, you can see one or the other working better. And then you select that, select that ad and let it run to earn you more money. So let's go. Number one, let's do A-B testing. So uh, the A-B testing is built into this theme and uh, it's pretty easy to do. I'll show that in a separate video, but in this demo, you can see, so I re refresh the page and now we see this add unit that's positioned to the left and it's a large rectangle. Refresh the page again and we see the letter board. And so these ads, they show equal 50% of the time. You can add a third variation. You'll make that an ABC test. You can have as many variations as you want, but I don't recommend doing more than three at once. And also you want to run the test for a longer period of time and to have a lot of page views so your results are more concrete or more definitive. All right, so this is the top ad placement and uh, you can see you can have either a letter board or the, uh, the rectangle to the right. You can, I mean, to the left, you can have it to the right. You can have it centered. You can have different ad sizes, etc. So next AB test that I'm doing here now, this is an ABC test. There's three variations. So this is a wrap content, then uh, the, ad, the rectangle centered or rectangle to the left. And uh, as I keep refreshing the page, they'll cycle through this. Um, I don't know which one will show, but basically your visitors will see one of the three variations or however you will set up. And uh, so, this lipsum text is just a, a placeholder when the wrap content ad is placed so this text wraps around it. So now testing the mobile browser. Um, so I, I can go on my, you can go on your phone to test this uh, demo of the theme. Oh, by the way, to test this, you can go to adsenseninja.com forward slash demo and you can play with this theme, just keep reloading the page to see how it works. But uh, basically, if you don't have a mobile device or you're not on a mobile device right now, you're on, a, on your computer, it's fairly easy to test the mobile version of this site. So what you do is you press Control Shift I on Windows or Command Option I on Mac. So we're gonna do that right now. That activates our uh, developer tools. And then, so, and then you basically toggle developer toolbar, which is your mobile device uh, emulator or simulator. So as you can see, I haven't reloaded the page. So if you don't have automatic ad switching for mobile devices, your, uh, your website or your on your phone, if you come to a website that doesn't automatically switch to a mobile ad, you would see a large letter board if it was here. But since this is an image, the image gets resized by the theme. However, if you if there was if this was a real Google ad unit, you would see a content that's like really narrow and an ugly uh, ad here. But if we reload the page, now the browser or the website, the theme knows that I come from an iPhone iPhone 5 and that's based on the user agent of your browser. So if we select this and refresh the page, see it cycles through mobile 
add units. So the 300 by, 3, uh, by 230 is my favorite add unit for the top. Let's just keep refreshing. Okay. It should at some point show a mobile banner. Now, if we do go to iPad, see, I didn't refresh the page yet, so it still shows the mobile ad units. Let me refresh the page. It knows this is an iPad based on a user agent, so now it shows desktop ad units. So we're back to our ABC test, which is switching from leatherboard to a floating left uh, large rectangle at the top and our ABC test here. So floating left, centered and wrap content. So this is a demonstration that the theme already knows what device you come from and based on that it will show you a specific ad unit for your device. Again, if we switch back to iPhone. It will never show a desktop ad unit if you are on iPhone or Android or any mobile device, Windows, you know, Blackberry, whatever. It will show mobile optimized ad units. And uh, the reason for that is if you optimize properly for mobile, you can actually increase your ad revenue by a significant amount. For example, um, I just published a video in which I demonstrated how I doubled my website AdSense income in just one day by switching from a responsive ad unit to doing something like this where I know by user agent that this is a mobile device and I show them a large rectangle at the top this one and uh, my income doubled basically by just doing this so there you go this is a quick demo of my WordPress AdSense optimized theme now you can buy this theme the cost is $75, but just think about it. If you're making 500 bucks a month on your website right now and you increase your earnings by just 20%, this theme pays for itself in the first months alone and then you keep on making money. Now, you don't have to buy it. I use this theme on 80% of my websites and it's doing great. You can, uh, you can see how I bought websites on Flippa and optimized AdSense on them. I actually put this theme on most of them, except for a couple that I couldn't due to technical difficulties of the site. And uh, so one of the websites I bought just about a year ago for 3,300 bucks, it already earned 72 something in 13 months. So that's over 200% in one year. And another website, the one that I doubled in just uh, like a couple of days, it's income. I bought it on June 2nd and uh, today is December 9th and it already earned about 5,600 bucks. I bought it for 67. So it's been what, six, six and a half, like six, six seven months. It almost uh, earned its cost and uh, again, I'm able to do this because I play with optimization. I do A-B testing, split testing to see which ad units perform better. And I use this theme. Now, it may be not the prettiest themes, but it, its sole purpose is to be, you know, like nice looking, easy to navigate, light, and at the same time to optimize your content and layout for AdSense earnings. That's the point of this theme. It looks okay but the looks are not important here the adsense money is so there you go my name is leo adsense ninja.com uh, if you want to learn about adsense optimization if you want to try this theme it's adsense ninja.com forward slash demo and uh, you can buy it right there so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video